Let's see what it's nice comes car. up now. Don't be a yeah, right. Fifteen bucks on what My SP or something like that. Them, some of them things you can't pay attention to. What is going on guys? Today I'm hitting the world's longest yard sale. It is about 700 miles long. Starts up in Michigan, goes all the way down to Alabama along Route 127 and lucky for me, it just runs right through Cincinnati. So we're gonna go hit it, see what we can find. Morning. Hey. Got any questions, just ask, okay? Will do, thanks. Both of them gloves, five bucks. Five bucks. Ain't that worth it? Not sure I need them. Yeah, we broke in already for the kids. Grand kids are grown up now. I don't even mess with the great great grand. Oh yeah. So uh, shit, they don't come around, so I don't. Hell, I'd give it to them otherwise. Got There's a more. bunch of stuff in here, man. Feel a little bit of everything. How much is Judy? Oh, about a hundred bucks. That's the original. If you look at the bottom right hand corner. Yeah. I know. I've seen them going for two hundred and fifty sometimes. Yeah, that photo's there, you can check it, look it up. Where'd you get it? I've got a few things, but gold. Her and uh, some of the pictures of the monkeys and the Tin Man and all that. Yeah? Where'd I you find them, it? I bought them probably 30 years ago. A yard sale when they weren't so expensive. I got a map that you go, just go take a picture of it and it automatically shows up and stuff. See what nice it's coming up now. Don't be a yeah, right. Fifteen bucks on what S P or something like that. Them, some of them things you can't pay attention to. <laughs> you know it? I think they're just what do they call them damn things. When they're doing apps now to get you to look into something, then you know by the time they get done, they say, oh, you know, it's an outrageous cheap price. And then I bet when you try to get it, you ain't gonna get it. Have a good one, thanks. Have a good day. Morning. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Still unloaded, but if there's something particular you're looking for, I'll tell you if I still think I have more in the boxes. Okay. <laughs> How much are your dolls? Um, a dollar each. Dollar each. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good about yourself. Alright. How much is this guy? I was doing 25, but I do... Uh, that's what I've been asking, but I do uh, 20 on it. Uh, he, he needs batteries. He does sing the baseball song, but uh, something he don't do either. He don't move his jaw or, or his hips. I think his no, hips, hips move. move. Yeah, hips I move. His, his, lip, his lip doesn't move. Gotcha. But we thought he just looked cool standing there, you know. What about 15? You got 15 on him? Yeah, hey, I had I 25. I, mean, I do 20. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'll think about it. I'll look around a little bit. I'll meet you halfway. I'm about 17 bucks. All right, that's a deal. All right. I'll probably buy something else from you too. I'll All keep right. looking around, but I'll take him. Now those are double sided. These are pretty cool. I mean, you could, I guess, you could tap a string in there. Yeah. See different guys on both sides. Huh. I was doing five on all. Those. Yeah, those are neat. Thanks, sir. Right, Good luck Thank to you. you. You too. Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. You? Good. Who signed your footballs? Is it Burroughs maybe? And I don't remember. No, yeah, it wouldn't have been. There. Wouldn't have been Joe Burrow. Burrows. No, it's a C. Never mind. I don't see. Yeah. I don't know any of their names. Um, hold on. I can Google their numbers and see if I can. Oh, find it's them. not a big deal. What are you asking for them? Uh, five dollars. If I bought all three, would you do ten bucks? Uh, how about twelve? Sure, let's do it. Okay. Wait, I can't have a bag. <laughs> right under in that closet. There's twelve. Thank you. Thank There's you. The Thank you. Good luck to you. You're welcome. Thank you.
A dumbbell? Yeah, and it's adjustable too. That's neat. What are you asking on that? Uh, how about uh, 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 ten bucks? Ten bucks. I'll give you ten bucks for it. Uh, right. How much are your glasses? Uh, a dollar. Sold. All right. Oh yeah, eleven. I'll just keep looking around. That's okay. okay perfect. Yeah. Buy as much as you want. All right. Great. <laughs> I don't have a Jaguar, but how much is your? I sold it for two. Kit. All right. But it'll still work. Yeah. It's just this was my husband had a Jaguar and he died and before he ever oh, I'm got so to sorry. use this. It's all right. I just have Came all with the this car. stuff. Yeah. No, he actually bought it extra. Oh wow. He bought all this stuff extra huh. and he never used it. What are you asking on that? How about uh, five bucks? Sure, why not? Right. I'm up to sixteen. All right. Buy something else that I need. But that was like a that was like a hundred and how much are your golf clubs? Hundred bucks for all of it. Mm -hmm. I would have taken it. I would have done it. Oh, the golf clubs? I yeah. I really would have. I'll take the clubs. There you go. You got them. Taking the clubs? Yeah, I'll take them. How much are these clubs? Um, Tom, how much for those clubs? Twenty. Uh, twenty. Uh, yeah, twenty dollars on that. Bag and everything. I'll do those too. I think I might settle up and make a trip out to the car here. Oh, okay, okay, let's do that. Um, I owe 120 for those. I owe um, 10 for the dumbbells, she said. Um, so that's 130. 130 plus. Uh, I'm building a house. Well, that's convenient. I saw mine, but I got to move temporarily. Plus five for this, she says 135, uh, 136. And then I just didn't get a price on these two right here. Uh, I believe, I don't know what that is, but that's hers. Uh, okay. These are three dollars. Okay, so one thirty-nine, and then I'll see what she wants for this. Make it a dollar. Okay, oh, one forty. Perfect. Let me get you some cash, and I'll make a trip out, and I'll come back and keep shopping. All right. We went back to crazy. Wow. One hundred and forty. Thanks so much. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'll, I'll, I'll bring those down. Oh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. I have a question. Yeah. I think we got short on the amount. Okay. Uh, I got 140. From it. I yeah. I think it was supposed to be. Mine was 27. Hers was 27. How much were the gotcha. dumbbells? Gotcha. Um, dumbbells were 10, right? I'm sorry. Dumbbells were 10. I thought they were 20. Oh, I thought you told me 10. I'm so sorry. No. I must have misheard. I'll bring them back to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, so if you want to give me 10 back. 10 back. Okay, I'll bring them back to you. Thanks. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to leave this. I'll give them a few more times because I don't want to take them back. Um, how about 15? You want to kind of split it? Okay. Yeah, I apologize. I must have misheard. There you go. Thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, five back to you. I think you might have been talking to somebody else with other prices and I must have misheard something. I'm sorry. Sure, how much are your shirts? 50 cents. Yeah. Okay, I got four of them. Alright. There you go. Thank you. Right, Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's up? Good, how you doing? How's everything going for you? Uh, pretty good except for just there's more stuff in. <laughs> yeah, this weather's not really cooperating. Oh my gosh. Yesterday we we were booming yesterday. Were you? Yeah. I don't know if you can see that over there, but like all the weather would to the right of us. Uh-huh. And we had an excellent day yesterday. Morning. Morning, how you doing? Good. I love that comb display. That's so cool. Fresh out of the truck. First one of Oh my god, that's crazy. Oh, that's Cincinnati 90. Reds. How yeah, cool 90. is that? A little truck? Yeah. That's awesome. So I'm just gonna put these little on Yeah, I'll buy that. Things die cast what not. do you got on that? We were asking three dollars a die cast. Yeah, I'll buy it. Did you ever try that on eBay, Danny? Oh really? Shipping, Shipping it, yeah. It's so cool. Where'd you find that? Um, there is a little shop in Crittenden that I go to. Okay, yeah. It's a 
it's kind of a little so what hour hole in the wall place. Yeah. Uh, Dixie's Treasures. Okay. Called. Interesting. That's a really cool. It's it even has a little bit of an Art Deco look. Oh yeah. With that. Yeah, I think it definitely goes yeah, back right. to possibly forties. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Forties, fifties? I'm not great on age of that, but that sounds about right. Yeah. I think it's cool on the back. It's got the shelves that put each home. That is cool. What do you got on it? What are we asking for? I'm. I I pay too much for it. I'm probably gonna want fifty from it. Oh, that's pretty reasonable. It's just such a cool piece. Like, where else are you going to find it, you know? I know. Well, what about 70 and then you make 20 bucks? Yeah. I'm thinking the right person might pay, like, I don't know, 200 plus for it. You know, if I sit on it long I enough. I have thought about uh, reaching out to some barbers. Like, yeah. local barbers in the area. But you know how it is. Time just goes yeah. yeah. by. All right. And the car, 73. Awesome. Thank you. All right, guys, I am back at the shop. Found a lot of good stuff on the 127 sale today. There was a lot of rain, unfortunately, so I didn't go as long as I had hoped to go, but what I did find, I got it all pulled out. I'm gonna show you what I bought. So the majority of what I found was at one sale, actually. It was a neighborhood sale, and it was one house that I bought a bunch of stuff. I got these Brooks, uh, these are track shoes. I saw the retail price or MSRP or whatever. It was like 100 bucks. Where's it at right here? And they were only asking $3, so I'm like, I'll just go ahead and buy these. Not worth a ton of money. I ended up finding the same ones uh, sold for 20 bucks plus shipping, so those should do okay. They have this um, Jaguar uh, tire pressure gauge with a case and um, different, like, some tire detailers and different things, like, with the original bag, which I thought was cool. Looks like the bag's got some nastiness going on in there. I paid five bucks. I normally wouldn't buy this stuff, but the fact that it's Jaguar, I was like, you know what? There's going to be somebody with a Jaguar that's going to want this stuff. I saw this stuff for like $16 plus shipping. Honestly, probably not a great buy. If I knew that this bag was kind of gross in there, I probably just would have passed on it all together. Got a pair of Ray-Bans at that sale for $1. These are prescription glasses. And well, let me see if I can get it open here. There we go. I looked up the model number. Uh, same ones are selling for right around like 25 to 30. I think there's one pair sold for 35. So whenever I sell these, somebody's just kind of take out the prescriptions if it doesn't match theirs. and. Just get the lenses replaced, but they are in good shape. They have the, the original case. Uh, paid a dollar. Great find on that one. Got a Christmas vacation on VHS. This will just be for my VHS PC. Paid a dollar for that. These Cincinnati Bengals head covers were on the golf clubs I bought there. I thought these were really cool. Definitely vintage. They're not going to fit like modern golf clubs. Like, you know, the drivers and fairway woods with really big heads. It's not going to fit those. It'll probably fit fairway woods, but not drivers. But still, these are so cool. Somebody's going to want these. Probably not huge money, maybe 20 to 30 bucks for the set of three, we'll see. These are the golf clubs that the head covers were on. Um, it's these woods right here. These are pretty much worthless, unfortunately, but these irons are pretty good. These are Titleist DCI 981 SL irons, and they're graphite shaft. I saw similar ones, well, the same one, the same model, sell, gosh, the prices were kind of all over the place. Some for like 150, some for 200. I need to clean these up, uh, but yeah, I'm super happy with that buy. That was 20 bucks with the head covers. Other clubs I got there is this bag right here. We've got King Cobra FP irons. These are steel shaft. These are going for about 100. Uh, White Hot Odyssey XG number nine putter. That's about 40 to 50 bucks. The, the Cleveland VAS driver and this Tight Lies three water, not really worth much at all. But this Ping G10 driver, I think was about 50 or 60 bucks when I looked it up. In the bag, I'll probably just take the plate against sports, maybe get about 10 bucks for that. I got these adjustable dumbbells there, um, Ativa Fit. And when I first asked about these, I thought she told me that they were 10 bucks. I could have been mistaken, I don't know. I'm curious to go back and watch the video and see if she said 10 or if she said 25 because I paid the husband for this and some other things because the husband was giving me prices on some, the wife was giving me prices on other stuff. And I paid 140 bucks for everything and then when I went to go back and look some more, the wife said, hey, you didn't pay us enough for the dumbbells. And I, she said that they were 25 and I was like, oh, I was thinking they were 10, you know, my mistake, I'll just grab them and, you know, bring them back to you guys. And um, she's like, you know what, don't worry about it. And I was like, well, how about I just give you an extra, like, five bucks or something? And she's like, yeah, that's fine. So felt really bad. Um, I hope, you know, she didn't think I was trying to swindle her or anything. But, yeah, I'm curious to go back and watch the film and see if she said uh, 10 or 25. These are pretty cool. Not worth a ton of money, to be honest. They sell brand new free shipping on eBay for, like, $80. 
So I might try to flip them locally for like 30 or 40 bucks, something like that. I'd rather not ship these if I don't have to, just because they're so heavy. Somebody's probably going to pay more to ship these things than they are, than they're worth, you know? Like they'll pay 30 or $40 to ship them, and they might only be worth like 30 bucks. I got this hat on sale for two bucks. Dale Earnhardt, uh, Good Wrench Service. This is a uh, Chase Authentics. Nothing super valuable, but some of these old NASCAR hats can do pretty well. Got this from Danielle, little Cincinnati Reds car. That was cool. She set that aside for me. Ran in her at one sale. She's set up at the 127. And uh, I'll link her YouTube channel down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Danielle's really nice. I've known her for years. Got a bunch of Bratz dolls at one sale. Paid a dollar each, which isn't super cheap, but, but these things are very collectible. I've done different auction lots with these, and they've done really well. These seem to be missing the feet, which is unfortunate, but I think there's some money to be made. I've done some uh, auction lots of like 20 plus dolls that go for like 100 bucks. So if I could get 30 or 40 for these, that'd be great. I got three footballs, three signed Bengals footballs, uh, two different players. Numbers are 25 and 87, so I got to do uh, a little bit of research and see who signed these. Paid $4 each for those. Let's see, I got this Lego minifigure container from Danielle as well. I got this one and this Micro Machines for $5 for the pair. I think I'm just going to give those to my brother-in-law, Brennan, because he's been doing a lot of Lego minifigs, and this could just be like a little divider case for him. A couple more VHS for my PC. Uh, Rookie of the Year. Great movie. <laughs> I saw Rascal. The raccoon caught my eye because uh, we've had this raccoon in our dumpster like all the time and i'm like you know what i gotta get this just to remember ricky that's what we named the raccoon that keeps getting in our dumpster i got some t-shirts at one sale i actually got a lot of that sale it's just i forgot how much stuff i had let me bring this box into the other room really quick i got four t-shirts at that sale for 50 cents each this one right here is 21 pilots don't know if this one is a tour or what it says blurry face i know that's one of their songs let's see this one is a tour 21 pilots 2017 tour emotional roadshow we've got fallout boy i think this is fallout boy fob chicago we are the poisoned youth and let's see what this one is oh bunbury nice yeah i went to bunbury this one is no more i think they're officially done with bunbury covid shut it down and then they just couldn't get it back going again this is 2017 i think i went 2018 pretty cool music festival here was the lineup in 2017 muse was khalifa g Easy, Death Cab for Cutie, 30 Seconds to Mars, The Shins. That's some pretty good acts. Got some camera equipment at that sale. This piece is really interesting. It is the um, Glide Cam HD 2000. They did say that there's like a couple, uh, a couple screws are missing on one of these that go right here. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to find those or just get replacements, something like that. And then the Rode mic. Um, I didn't look up the price on this, but... I know these can have some really good value. Um, by the way, this one was selling like used for about 80 to 100 bucks. But again, that's with the screw, so I'm gonna have to find the screws for that. So I just looked up prices on this uh, road, and it's not worth as much as I thought. Maybe 25, 30 bucks. Um, I know that's a really good name of microphones, but this must be like their lower end model. Uh, I paid 35 for the mic and this piece right here, so there will be some profit to be made. Picked up this Mets doll at one sale. They said that it dances and it sings but the mouth doesn't move. I paid $17 for it, and this is made by Jimmy, G-E-M-M-Y, same company that makes that um, singing fish that you guys have probably seen, or like the singing sharks and different stuff. The Jimmy's made a bunch of stuff. So I just put batteries in this thing. We are gonna test it out and see if it works. Hey, bada, 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 boom, uh, bada. Rocket fire, boom it, baby, boom, baby. This thing is awesome. So if this was Cincinnati Reds, I would 100% just be keeping the thing. But since it's a mess, I'm going to sell it. I only saw one active listing for like 110 bucks. I didn't see any sold listings. Since the mouth doesn't work on mine, I don't know what it's worth. I'll try to get like 70, 80 bucks for it, something like that. But he was just way too cool to pass up. Last but certainly not least, this was definitely my best find of the day. This is a prophylactic comb display. 
probably from the 40s or 50s. I'm really not sure, to be honest. But it just has an awesome look to it. I bought this from Danielle. She never put it on eBay because she was like, you know, it's glass. I'm just... She didn't feel like shipping it because it's really big. It's going to be a pain to ship. I totally understand that. And I'm like, you know what? I really want to buy this thing. I love displays. They seem to do pretty good on eBay. I know it'll probably take a while to sell, you know, just because it's a comb display. Not, not everybody's looking for a comb display, but I'll just put it up for a display until it sells because it's pretty neat and I like it. I'll price it really high, maybe like 250 300 bucks. And uh, just take best offers because it'll probably take a while to find the right person for this. But she paid 50 for it. She said she was happy to break even, but I wanted to give her a little bit of profit. Uh, Danielle's really cool. So wanted to make sure she made some money on that. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.